Hi guys, this is Mauro. So you have a you have a problem. You have some kind of obstacle. You have a cha something challenging you, and you don't know if you are capable of going entirely through it. You don't know if you're capable of finishing the project. You're not doing if you're capable of approaching that person or or whatever it is. Um, let, let's play with an example of something that happened to me uh, when I was a junior, playing juniors. I, um, I got to, the, to these uh, regional tournament finals uh, in 16 and under. And I played this guy from out of town. And he totally, he destroyed me one and two something. Six one, six two, six two, six one, whatever. And we, uh, what, that, what that did is that it helped me put me in my place and say, okay, you have to improve in this, improve in this, improve in this, okay? Long story short, I played the guy one year later, but that year, I just kept in my mind this guy. Every time I go to play, I, I will, I, one thing that always worked for me is like pinching my pride, like, okay, is that it? Is that all you have? I mean, is that is that all you can, you know, is that is that as far as you can get? And I always thought, uh-uh, no, I'm not. You know, that moment, my pride was like, no, you know, it's not. So. Every time I practice, I just had this guy in mind, and I knew I was gonna play that guy again someday. And I say, I, I'm gonna be ready. I have to be ready. So every time I go to practice, I have this guy in mind, and I practice hard and I practice smart. So, short, uh, long story short, I play the guy again a year later, and I ended up beating him in three sets, which for me was huge. Was a huge, huge victory. And I remember thinking, um, I won the first set. And I remember thinking, okay, well, you know what? At least he's not gonna beat me in two sets now. He's probably gonna, if he beats me, he beats me in three. But in my, in my mind, I thought, no, but I don't wanna lose to this guy. I already won the first set, I can beat this guy. You know, and I lost the second set. And my mind was like, oh, there you go. Now you're gonna lose, but okay, you're gonna lose in, in three sets, be happy with that. I had to push, a, I wanna push a little more to see how far I can get. I want to push a little more. I, my, in my head, I was not 100% sure that I could be this guy. But I say I want to keep pushing to see how more, how far I can get. I mean, I might get, I might, I might, I might be able to finish this. I don't know. And I ended up the, and, and I ended up winning. And I ended up winning actually 6-3 the last set. So, you know, uh, that that just pushing a little bit. That's one thing that you have to you have to relate in life. When you have that project, when you have whatever it is that you have to do, you have to learn to push a little bit because you're going to find things about yourself that you still don't know. You're going to, um, the only way to really know yourself and, 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 and get to see your hidden potential is pushing yourself, is trying to go, okay, take another step, just go one step at a time and take another one, and take another one. And we're gonna find ourselves that many times that extra step that we wanna take is a stop right there on tracks. You know, it's it's just, it, it, and, and a lot of people quit. A lot of people say, okay, this is as far as I got. That's good, I'm good with that. But the idea is you don't have to take big jumps forward, big leaps. You don't have to advance like a lot. When you're challenging, when you're competing, when you're when you have a when you have a challenge, when you have an obstacle, when you're when you're moving, when you're moving against when they're against the opposition, go step by step. If you're thinking if you're thinking on big leaps, the the the, the challenge looks too big, has a tendency to look too big. If you're building the house. Well, go brick by brick, and you go for the foundation, and and, and you know from, you're starting from the bottom. You don't want to think right away. Okay, how is the house gonna look once it has, you know, three bedrooms and a living room and a dining room and everything? Oh my God! And, and they want customized. They want it like this or they want it like. I mean, it's just too much. The big project is gonna look like too much and too overwhelming. So you have to learn to go little step by step, and and you're gonna notice that it's amazing. But for people. For some reason, life life gives to people that keep pushing. Life rewards 
the people that keep challenging themselves. So one thing that you're gonna notice is that it's amazing. You're gonna be like, I just I just try a little more on this, and I got this far, you know. And 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 I try to I try to improve a little bit of this, and I was able to finish that equation, or I was able to finish that project in time, or I was able to talk to this person. See, there, life is gonna reward you with little coincidences, little things that are gonna happen that you don't know. That, that, that are going to bring things out of you that you don't know you had. It could be more willpower. It could be that you stay calm. It could be that you started believing for some reason, you started believing that trust in yourself, that belief. You were able to see more clearly the potential. You feel like you can feel like you kind of have like a like a little breakthrough that is gonna open a lot of doors. It could be so many different things, guys. Just try it, just try it. When, when things look really, really, you know, like when there is no hope or when you just don't trust yourself, just pushing. And I promise you, life is gonna send. It's, it's, it's amazing how it works, but life always sends one signal and you wanna keep your eyes very, very, open and be guys you really want to be aware of what's going on because life sometimes many it, it sends a signal but it's a very mild very tiny signal that is we don't catch it that that can change entirely what what happens you know with your project what happens to you you just quit and let it go and you're seeing that little thing and then another one another one here and then another one here and little by little it's giving you the hope to say, just take one more step. Just take one more step. Don't, 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 don't go. Don't try to go too far. Just take one more step, step by step. Okay. Well, guys, I hope it helps. If you have any questions, any suggestions, let me know, and I'll see you next time.